Hello and welcome to week five of the hybrid course. This week's topic is personalized content delivery. The first item is an overview of the content within the week. We're looking at differentiated lessons and soft chalk lessons within the LMS. There are two lessons. You can uh, choose to participate in either lesson. The first lesson is in regards to how an LMS supports differentiation in the classroom. I built this using a program called SoftChalk. It's opening in a new tab up here on the right. And uh, when you first log in, you probably won't see this view. Uh, it's asking, because I've continued the lesson in prior attempts, I can either start where I left off or I can begin again. To navigate a SoftChalk lesson, you can use the Next button. And notice that there is a menu bar across the top. Each of these is a different page within my lesson. It's similar to an ebook. Each page of the ebook has content within it, text that the teacher has written, as well as videos to play. Again, you can use the next page arrow at the bottom of each page. Again, here is more text, and here's that next page arrow to keep progressing on. There will be a short quiz or activity at the end of the soft chalk lessons that will mark your participation throughout this. So please, um, please continue on, on uh, until you get to that quiz, and then you'll uh, have an opportunity to hit the finish button at the very end. So this particular soft chalk is all about differentiated content, and there's a lot of variety of examples and so forth to peruse through. When you're finished with the soft chalk lesson, you can simply uh, click the tab right here to return back to the Blackboard course. Again, participants have the option of participating in either lesson. This one has a lot of examples and this one is more of a tutorial how to download and create lessons within SoftChalk. SoftChalk is a software that you can download from the internet and uh, you are allowed a 30-day free trial. It's a bit of a pricey uh, uh, software program if you want to purchase it, but maybe that's something a grant or a principal would support. Uh, below that, we're getting into some of the activities that participants need to complete. We've got three discussion prompts. Everyone should complete the first two, and then individuals looking for college credit should complete the, the one titled MSU Discussion. And I'm going to format things a little differently from here on. Anytime there's something that's uh, specific only to the participants looking for college credits, we'll see a MSU icon here. And uh, if you're not looking for college credit, then you don't need to participate in these types of activities. These are uh, optional, uh, but not required. <clears throat> so um, the discussion boards, again, if you want to participate, there is a, a brief overview and objective and the directions. And then you would just simply click on the title of the discussion, and it will take you into the discussion board where you can post your comments. The discussion board has been pretty uh, pretty rich so far and would uh, definitely invite you to keep continuing to provide supportive uh, comments to your peers and uh, participate and review what others, are, um, what others are posting. Again, there's a lot to be learned there. All right, well, that's it for this week. Finally, last but not least, I will be offering office hours, uh, virtual office hours from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday. And uh, you can simply uh, log in to your course site's course, the hybrid course, and choose to uh, join us in the virtual office hours from the comfort of your own classroom or the comfort of your own home just through your computer by clicking on this course site's live button. Then follow the, the prompts to share your screen with your instructor. And you can also talk to your computer and we can have a dialogue back and forth just uh, real time through the computer. It's pretty neat. Last week we had three teachers log in and uh, ask some questions. So it was a, a, an effective tool and uh, hopefully we can continue to support your needs again in that way. Um, I hope you enjoy this week's content and uh, until next time, have a great day.